In today's video, we will be showing the story of the International Hotel in San Francisco, Manila Town. The International Hotel, also known as the I Hotel, was a symbol of resistance and community in San Francisco's historic Manila Town. This building served as a residence for low-income, elderly Filipino immigrants who had few options for affordable housing during the 1960s and the 1970s. The hotel became a symbol of resistance and community during the late 1970s when a battle to save it from demolition brought together Filipino and Asian American activists, artists, and community members. The Manila Town neighborhood of San Francisco, 150 elderly Filipino and Chinese tenants launched a nine-year anti-eviction campaign against financial district encroachment on November 27, 1968. Manila Town was a tight-knit community of immigrants who came to San Francisco seeking a better life. Many of these immigrants were employed as agricultural workers, seamen, or domestic servants. In 1968, the International Hotel was sold to a developer who planned to demolish the building to make way for a new development project. The elderly residents of the hotel who had already lost their homes once when the city cleared out Manila Town in the 1960s were facing eviction once again. In response, Filipino and Asian American activists began organizing to save the hotel. They formed the I Hotel Tenants Union, a grassroots organization that fought to keep the hotel open and preserve the community that had formed there. The Tenants Union brought together activists, artists, and community members in a struggle that would last for nearly a decade. This event is now remembered as a turning point in Asian American and housing advocacy history thanks to widespread student and local grassroots support. The struggle to save the I Hotel became a symbol of resistance and community for many Filipino and Asian American activists in San Francisco. The Tenants Union organized protests, rallies, and sit-ins to prevent the eviction of the hotel's residents. Despite these efforts, the developer obtained a court order to evict the tenants in 1977. On August 4, 1977, an eviction raid at 3 a.m. saw the deployment of over 400 riot police, mounted patrols, anti-sniper units, and ladder trucks as the campaign's pinnacle. Before physically removing tenants from the property, authorities brutally cleared away a 3,000-person human barricade. The eviction was met with resistance from activists and community members who formed a human chain around the building to prevent the police from carrying out the evictions. The standoff lasted for several weeks, during which time the hotel became a symbol of resistance and community for many in San Francisco. Eventually, the police were able to clear out the hotel and demolish the buildings. However, the struggle to save the Ai Hotel had a lasting impact on the community. The legacy of the Ai Hotel lives on in San Francisco, Filipino community, and beyond. The struggle to save the hotel inspired a new generation of activists and community organizers who continued to fight for affordable housing and immigrants' rights. The I Hotel also serves as a reminder of the power of community and importance of preserving cultural landmarks and spaces. A newly formed International Hotel Citizens Advisory Committee, appointed by Mayor Diane Feinstein, and initially pres presided over by Dr. Roland Lowe and later Linda Wang led persistent efforts to ensure that low-income housing would be constructed on the site after the eviction of 1977 and the demolition in 1979. In 2005, after nearly three decades of advocacy, a new international hotel was built in the same location as the original hotel. The new hotel, which is owned and operated by the Manila Town Heritage Foundation, serves as a community center and affordable housing for low-income seniors. In conclusion, the International Hotel was a symbol 
of Resistance and Community in San Francisco's historic Manila town. Although the original hotel was demolished, its legacy lives on in the community and serves as a reminder of the power of community and the importance of preserving cultural landmarks and spaces. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please support this channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please click the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you and see you all in the next video.